Hello beautiful artists! In this video we are going to learn how to draw an Egyptian side portrait. Are you ready? We are going to need a normal piece of white paper, a pencil, an eraser, a black marker, permanent if you're going to use watercolors, and any coloring materials you have at home, a crayons, markers, even watercolors if you want. Let's start! The first thing we're going to do is that we are going to divide our paper into four equal parts. I'm going to draw this vertical line and this horizontal pretty much in the middle, okay? It doesn't have to be perfect, it's just a guess. And in the lower left side of that paper, we are going to draw a circle. That is going to be the head of the Egyptian pharaoh we're going to draw. And that circle, we're gonna draw a horizontal line that divides it into two equal parts. Again, it's just gonna be a guess. From that line, we're gonna draw now a vertical line that goes just like this. That's gonna be the side of the face. And now we're gonna draw a triangle that starts right where the horizontal and vertical line meet. And that is gonna be the nose. Now, we're gonna draw the eye. The I, it's like the letter A, but upside down. And that's what we're going to draw in the horizontal line we just made. See, it's like an A, but upside down. Okay, our face is starting to have some shape. Now we're going to draw the part of the mouth and of the chin. That is going to come approximately around here. And I'm going to mix that line with the other side of the circle. Right in this side, it's going to be the ear. The ear goes from the eye to approximately the down part of the nose and now I'm gonna draw the neck. Now I'm gonna draw an eyebrow. It's just gonna be like a little mountain. And now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna start drawing the big head of this pharaoh. I'm gonna draw a diagonal line that goes through the head and now I'm gonna draw two very big vertical lines and a semicircle, an arc at the top. And this is pretty much the sketch, okay, the main idea of the side portrait of our pharaoh. Now I'm gonna go with my pencil and I'm gonna add some details, some curves to that nose so it doesn't look like a exactly triangle, the nostrils, I'm gonna pop out a little bit the lips and the chin. Now I'm also going to do the jawline that is going to end at the ears. I'm going to press a little bit harder also for the neck, the ear, and the eye, the eyebrow. And I think this looks pretty good. Now I'm going to go ahead and go over the hat. I'm going to press a little bit harder this time. And now what I'm going to do is that I'm going to raise those lines that I don't care about them anymore, that they were just our guidelines. Like the circle that it was inside of the hat. I want to raise that because uh, it's not going to show in, in our painting. So I'm going to go ahead and erase all those lines that we don't need. And now I'm going to start decorating the pharaoh's hat. For that, I'm going to draw some parallel lines with the line that where the hat starts. I'm going to use different sizes. It doesn't matter. In here, you just have to be creative and use your imagination and think of your own design. I'm going to do it this way, but you can do it however you want. So once I have those lines done, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to fill them with different patterns. Remember, a pattern is an element that you repeat over and over. For example, in here, I will start with a small circle. So from that circle, I'm going to draw a pattern and I'm going to draw several circles across the line I just made. In this other section, I'm going to use the pattern of this triangle shape. And I'm going to add some dots. What we want to do is that we want to make the hat visually very interesting with lots of patterns that are going to make our painting very, very rich. In here, I'm doing these semicircles. And in this other segment, I'm just going to draw the pattern of vertical lines, 
there are millions and millions of ideas for patterns, so just choose the ones you want. I will repeat, you don't have to do it as I'm doing it, you just have to be creative, okay? So I'm gonna continue through all of the segments of the lines I just make, drawing patterns. Now I'm gonna end this portrait by making a line. It's gonna be approximately like one finger wide and that is gonna frame all my painting. So I'm gonna frame it with this line. You can use a ruler if you want to and that is gonna make the side portrait pop up. So I'm just drawing this vertical, now the horizontal line on the top. See, it doesn't have to be perfect and if you use a ruler that will be amazing. And after that I'm gonna finish by drawing the neck, the neck of this pharaoh. I'm gonna draw it like if it had this uh, gold necklace. Yeah, I think like this is perfect. And what I'm gonna do now, now that my design is finished, I'm gonna grab a black marker. In my case I'm using a permanent black marker because I want to use watercolors maybe afterwards. So I'm gonna go ahead and go all through the lines, all the pencil lines that I just made. I'm gonna go very slowly, just so I don't do any mistakes, and I'm gonna be try to be as precise as possible. I'm gonna go over the eye again with a thicker line, just like that, and then I'm gonna grab my eraser and erase all the pencil marks I did before. And now it's time for color. As you remember, one of the main characteristics of Egyptian art is that the skin has this dark brown color. So I'm gonna use my crayons to paint the face with this, again, brown dark color. You can use any coloring materials you want. You can use markers, you can use crayons, you can even use watercolors. It's up to you. In my case, I think I'm gonna paint the face and the hat with crayons, and then I'm gonna do the background with watercolors. As I said before, you can use any coloring materials you have at home. So I'm gonna grab my watercolors and I'm gonna do this gradient for the background. I'm gonna use earthly tones and I'm gonna mix them all together. So it has this cool effect as if it was in a wall. And ta-da! Here we have our Egyptian side portrait. Don't forget to sign your name as the artist you truly are and I really hope you learned something new in this lesson and I will see you very soon. Bye!